Hey there, communication enthusiasts! Welcome to our video. Today we have an exciting topic that's sure to keep you connected. The ham radio versus the walkie-talkie. Both of these communication devices have their unique strengths. In this video, we will compare the ham radio and the walkie-talkie. So let's get started. Let's start our comparison with a look at the technology and range of these communication devices. Ham radios, also known as amateur radios, operate on radio frequencies allocated for amateur use. They utilize radio waves to transmit voice, data, and even digital signals over long distances. The range of a ham radio can be extensive, reaching across cities, states, or even countries depending on the equipment and conditions. On the other hand, walkie-talkies are also known as two-way radios, operate on designated frequency types set by regulatory authorities. They are designed for short-range communications within a limited distance, generally a few miles, making them ideal for activities like hiking, camping, and events in close proximity. Licensing and regulations are crucial considerations when it comes to using these communication devices. Ham radio operators are required to obtain an amateur radio license from the respective country's regulatory authorities. These licenses involve passing exams to demonstrate knowledge of radio operation, regulations, and procedures. Once licensed, ham radio operators gain access to a wide range of frequencies and the ability to communicate with other licensed operators globally. In contrast, walkie-talkies usually do not require individual licenses for consumer use. However, businesses and organizations that use walkie-talkie for commercial purposes may need to obtain appropriate licenses to comply with the local regulations. The communication infrastructure for these devices also differs significantly. Ham radio operators rely on a network of radio repeaters, satellites, and radio towers to extend their communication range. This infrastructure enables long-distance communication and facilitates emergency communication during natural disasters or emergencies when traditional communication methods may be unavailable. On the other hand, walkie-talkies work on a peer-to-peer -peer communication model. They do not require any external infrastructure for communication, making them more self-contained and suitable for situations where traditional communication networks are not available or reliable. Power source and battery life are important factors, especially during extended use or in remote locations. Ham radios typically require a power source, such as batteries or a power outlet, to operate. The battery life can vary based on the equipment and usage, but some portable ham radios have excellent battery life, especially when using power-saving modes. Walkie-talkies are commonly powered by rechargeable or replaceable batteries. Their battery life can vary significantly depending on factors like transmit power, usage frequency, and battery capacity. For prolonged use, it's essential to carry spare batteries or have access to charging options. The number of communication channels and features is another factor to consider. Ham radios provide access to a wide range of frequencies and communication modes including voice, morse code, digital data, and more. This flexibility allows for diverse communication options, especially among licensed operators. Walkie-talkies, depending on the model, offer a limited number of channels for communication. Some higher-end walkie-talkies may include features like built-in weather radios, hands-free operation, and group communication, enhancing their functionality for specific scenarios. Overall, the electrifying face-off between the ham radio and the walkie-talkie. Each communication device brings its own set of advantages and serves different communication needs. If you're a communication enthusiast, Seeking long-range and global connectivity, the ham radio is the way to go. On the other hand, if you value simplicity, portability, and short-range communication for outdoor activities and group adventures, the walkie-talkie is the winner for you. Thanks for joining us today. 
If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay connected and stay tuned. Goodbye.